Good evening and welcome to the Retail Jeweler YouTube channel. And we have with us uh, the very dynamic Mr. Rajesh Kalyanaraman, Executive Director of Kalyan Jewelers, one of the fastest growing uh, jewelry brands in India and Middle East. Welcome, uh, Rajesh Ji, to today's uh, show. Uh, hi, uh, always very happy talking to you. Yes, same here, same feeling. So, Rajesh Ji, you know, as you know, uh, the IIJ Signature Show, which is being organized by Jemen Jewelry Export Promotion Council, has been uh, planned for 5th of January to 9th of January, which is almost one month ahead of when it normally used to happen. So, what are your expectations from this show? And um, how many people are coming from your India and Middle East business? And if you can tell us a little bit about what kind of product categories maybe we'll be looking at at this show. Before I start, I would like to thank uh, Samidji and team because when we started in 1993, our industry was totally unorganized. And with IAGS coming in, and with our uh, GJF, GJEPC, all the associations uh, taking strong stands, we could get this organized to a great level. Now, this platform that is being offered to retailers like us itself is a great achievement because uh, this time IAGS signature is as big as the IAGS premium and it is good that we have pushed it one month before because January is a good season and with 2600 stalls and when I checked up right from gold, diamond, uncut, precious, polky, silver, everything is there in one roof. We always believe that to satisfy our, our consumer, we should always be innovative. Innovative right from the product to uh, the packaging. When we meet a lot of our suppliers, vendors, and when we also see products from dealers whom we are not in touch with on a daily basis, we get a lot of ideas. And the energy that is there is carried back by us to our company as well. We try to have maximum people from our team to participate for all IAGSs. This time we are bringing our teams from all our 13 purchase offices spread across India as well as from uh, Middle East in Qatar, Kuwait, uh, Oman and Dubai. So uh, our full team across all departments will be there and uh, I will also be there uh, as one of them, one of our team members. Okay, excellent, excellent. Rajesh ji, we are very proud of you because you always keep innovating in products and recently you launched this entire football collection coinciding with the World Cup which is happening in Qatar. And it has been accepted very well by customers across all the metros in India, uh, especially Kerala, Bombay, uh, Calcutta, Delhi. So, what are the kind of innovations you have been doing, you know, like product innovations and how has been the response for you? You know, Frankly, I'm happy that you have noticed it, Samit, because what we believe is that customer buys jewellery and wears it not only as a fashion accessory as but uh, he's always he wants it to be innovative he, so what we try to do is rather than always stick to traditional jewelry we always try to bring in new concepts and this is a football season and wherever you see be it paper tv news media uh, uh, television everywhere it is filled with football so we had given a uh, uh, to we had given this topic to our vendors and asked them to come up with new designs and good concepts based on football. And uh, uh, we have launched a 6 gram and 8 gram platinum uh, football, which you can sell anywhere between 40 to 60,000 rupees. And in that budget, I think it is going crazy. We have already sold more than 400 pieces and uh, uh, we are very ha happy with the concept. Great, they're very nice and I'm sure all the manufacturers uh, who are listening to you now who are preparing for IJ signature, they will all be very happy to know this and they will show a lot more innovation and products to you at the IJ signature to you and your team. So coming to the final question, uh, Rajesh ji, your uh, results, quarterly results for the last four or five quarters have been tremendously good and we have been seeing a very steady progress in your business. 
so how is you how are you looking to close the financial year of which is going on on march and what is your uh, vision or view on the market you know how it will be for the next uh, two years according to me uh, after the pandemic jewelry sector has seen huge growth uh, the market has been kind to us both the stock market as well as the retail customer cu- customer base and we are seeing good growth i think this year will see a new record in our financials and sales and profits which uh, we are sure uh, will help not only kalyan jewelers but also the lo- uh, the long list of companies that are yet Uh, have been filing or planning to go for ipo because as a sector if you do good everybody benefits so we are very happy that we could lead the journey and what do you feel will be the next two years sir what is your vision of the jewelry industry today is growing very rapidly diwali was fantastic you know in 2022 uh, and where do you see in 2023 and 2024 diwali going i could cut this into three topics the first thing is uh with regarding to the regulations and organized jewelry if i would like to talk i feel that the regulations that are coming into our industry are very tough very strict and not only jewelry industry but most of the sectors unless we have proper backing proper papers and uh, the proper systems of doing business i think it is going to be very challenging we should try to get our business organized and try to be uh, having all the process driven activities in such a way that uh, we can relax and do business because otherwise i feel governance is going to play a major challenge in the next 2 3 years number 2 uh, the customer psychology is changing when my marriage was happening about 20 years back Uh, when myself and my wife they, we were there the elders were doing the selection and we were just uh, seeing the counter but today if you just stand across in the counter we can see that the youngsters who the people who are actually using the jewelry they are the people who are in the forefront they are the people who are wearing the product and it is completely in fact in many cases they are they are the people who are paying also in many of the cases so this shift is something that we need to understand and the next one or two years this is going to increase and i feel if you are having more millennium products or if your communication is more to the young to the people who are actually wearing the product uh, for their weddings uh, it the returns and the growth will be much much faster that is something that we have noticed number 3 what i feel is that a uh, customer today feels that they should have value for money and uh, earlier we were seeing diamond jewelry uh, uh, going to from vvs ef it went to vvs gh and now it has even products in vas and si similarly we are seeing uh, earlier we had diamond jewelry which had shifted from 22 to 18 and now in 14 personally somewhere i have a sense that for gold jewelry also at least for the non traditional fancy jewelry we can see a lot more 18 carat 14 carat white gold and uh, uh, new trends which is going to attract the customer in the years to come wow very nice that's very good insight uh, rajesh ji thank you very much you know this is a lot of insights for our, all our uh, manufacturing industry designers and everybody who is the retailers as well you know who are listening into this uh, program uh, thank you very much and finally one more thing ajay ji a lot of people ask me this you know uh, kalyan jewelers is also in middle east you have uh, expanded your uh, base there and you have been doing very well uh, there what is your plan for international business are you looking at any more countries to move ahead as a company since we have just been listed and we have huge opportunity which we are seeing in india and in middle east we may take some more time to go uh, uh, travel internationally but uh, 1000% as you rightly asked i think not only for kalyan jewelers but for the entire indian jewelry sector uh, maybe after 10 20 years india will be maximum 50% of our uh, market uh, we will all start selling goods internationally there is no doubt about it 
ओके ओके वेरी नाइस सर थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर दिस लवली इंसाइटफुल कन्वर्सेशन विद अस एंड ऑल द बेस्ट टू यू एंड हैव अ गुड ट्रिप टू कतार डूइंग द वर्ल्ड कप एंड सी योर फुटबॉल पेंडेंट्स आल्सो सेलिंग ऑफ द शेल्फ्स इन कतार एज़ वेल एंड ऑल द बेस्ट टू यू फॉर क्लोजिंग दिस फाइनेंशियल ईयर इन अ वेरी वेरी गुड नोट फॉर कल्याण ज्वेलर्स सर थैंक यू थैंक यू होप टू मीट ऑल ऑफ यू इन आईएजीए सिग्नेचर यस सर थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू